I'm Kevin Abbott from Hey Abbott. A client I work with frequently is a very strong speaker. She's confident, powerful, and very aware of her message. Yet even with all that ability, she makes one mistake consistently and is mostly unaware of it. She begins nearly every sentence with the word, so. So I thought we'd start by, so I'd like to thank, so my answer to that is, you see, so is her crutch word, and we all have them. And not just words such as and, well, but, so, and, you know, but also sounds like ah, uh, um, and er. Uh. Why do we use them? They give us time to think. Words such as um and ah uh emerge when our brain anticipates a gap or an uncertain moment in our presentation. And it basically freaks out, quickly plugging the hole with a pointless sound. How do you defeat them? Well, let me give you four tips that are used by professionals. Number one, embrace the pause. Public speaking experts agree that the best replacement for a crutch word is a deliberate pause. Whereas filler words create distraction, pauses have multiple benefits. They create suspense and draw audience attention. They can slow down speed talkers. They demonstrate confidence. And a pause gives speakers time to think. Number two, slow down. Speakers often use filler words because their mouths are going faster than their brain. Words are coming out erratically and nonsensically before the brain has had a chance to organize them. If you're having trouble slowing down naturally, Insert more deliberate pauses and raise your volume. Both are natural speed breaks for the voice. The third tip, prepare. When speakers haven't prepared clear points, they tend to ramble. Crutch words are then created to connect these rambling sentences and ideas. But if speakers prepare their points in advance and know them well, they can start strong and speak confidently. If you're not confident, read it. You're allowed to read your weekly presentation. No one will penalize you. And tip number four, practice. Do I even need to tell you why? Okay, I will. When you practice, you become more confident, smoother in your delivery, because now you're focused on your delivery style instead of thinking what you're supposed to say next. Crutch words are not an indication of your experience or your ability. Some executives use crutch words all the time, while some interns never do. But if you know what your problem words are and learn to control them, you'll be a clearer and more efficient speaker. And you'll probably get more referrals because now people know exactly what you're looking for. I'm Kevin from Hey Abbott, giving voice to your vision.